Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we are going to be doing a book haul or unboxing. It always feels weird to do these kind of videos because they get a lot of dislikes compared to my other content. And I don't know, like, do people just not like my books? They're not like the amount of books. Something about them people don't like, but I love watching them, so I'm going to keep making them. And before I reveal the stack of packages to you, I need to provide some context for this video. The stack of packages here I've had sitting on my bedroom floor for around four to six months. I've been saving them as a treat for me to open when I finish writing the first draft of my newest book. And that happened yesterday. So now I'm finally going to unbox them. A few of these are stuff I had on my wish list. I think some of them might be like leftover birthday presents that people ordered for me. And I just said, thank you, I'm gonna save them for a special day. And then a lot of them were also purchased with Watch to Stone's Raptures. And this stack here I recently purchased from Waterstones Piccadilly while I was in London for an event. And they were also purchased with like Waterstones vouchers because I have so many. I have a lot of stamps because I exclusively order books when it's double stamp weekend to make the most of it. I also have a student discount. So yeah, this unboxing is a celebration. They... I will be using the stamps and profits from this haul to do another haul in the future, I imagine. And also there's some books here, because I have been having them for so long, there's books here that I know in my last haul in early summer, maybe late spring, because I recorded that one and uploaded it three months later. I had some Samantha Shannon books I ended up returning because they were damaged slightly, and one of these packages are my replacements. I was actually going to show off the stack, wasn't I? So. This is a lot of cardboard, my mother's going to be so mad that I'm filling up her recycling bin, but... So at the very bottom we have Samantha Shannon, and this box here I believe are the new Alice Oseman copies, and the rest I can't really remember. I think also the further clarification that some of these were gifted, the rest were purchased with my own money. I have a job, I have very low living expenses, so fortunately I can spend my money on books. So this guy should be Samantha Shannon. This is not Samantha Shannon, this is Alice Oseman. So I am... Okay. Up here is like a draft proof copy of the book I'm currently writing, just because she deserves to be here. I currently have one of the new Alice Osmonds, it's this, uh, the Solitaire hardcover, I believe it's the anniversary edition. So it has like sprayed edges and stuff, but I believe the rest of these are just like standard. So I'm kind of looking forward to having a match in a set, as emotionally attached as I am to the original Solitaire cover, and the original drawn Radio Silence and Loveless covers. I'm looking forward to a match in the set because... I also love when artists do their own book covers as well. I think that's fun. So first up we have Loveless. This I believe was also just the original US cover, which I in the moment wasn't fond of because I loved the UK ones more. But for the sake of having a matching set, I love this. This is also so much thicker than... It's a little bit thicker than my Loveless. So I think these all might have some kind of bonus content as well. But I couldn't tell you what. So these ones are, yeah, I just have got for the sake of a matching set. Then we have, I was born for this. I think this is my, probably my second favourite of all of Alice Oseman's covers that they drew themselves. And I don't know why I don't have a physical copy of this. this is what's going on? It's the illustrations inside. Oh, there's like, kind of like chapter section breaks in there. That's fun. And then we should have my baby Radio Silence. Radio Science, this is, I think, a largely unpopular opinion, but Radio Science is my favourite Alice Oseman novel, and this is my favourite of the new covers. The audiobook list I'm also obsessed with because the person who does the voice for Alad gives him, like, the perfect wet cat energy, and it's wonderful, and I wish they would narrate my book. These are all beautiful and pastel and they're so much thicker than the original ones. I'm not sure where these are going to go on my shelves. I need a serious rearrange, meaning I need to move out so I can dedicate an entire room to being a library, rather than just like taking up half of this room. So that means these ones should be Samantha Shannon. And I was up for debate if I was going to return my original copies, because they're like very minor cosmetic issues. But I, I took them into my local Waterstones and I said, Hi, I don't mean to be a, a menace, but please can I return them? And they said, Yes, of course, of course. And I couldn't get them in store on the day because, I mean, I probably could have. They only had one, or I think they only had like the mask. Is it called the mask falling? I think they only had one of them in store on the day. So I thought, you know, I'm going to order them all at once and then they can arrive all together. 
and if these ones are damaged it's been so many months now i won't be able to fix it and when they sent the last time to me they were in like a big wide package like this but to the point where all the corners were digging into the pages of a different book which is why i'm just throwing things around now which is why they had like slight tearing on some of the pages but again very minor but enough for me no they put like they put airbags in this they packaged this they put them i'm struggling to show you this this time they just literally put it in a nice stack which works for me which is wonderful for me we have the mask falling i'm looking i'm looking crisp pages all around and they also have like very like little tears in the dust jacket as well which again very nitpicky but i want perfection this one i think is my favorite color scheme out of the new um bone season like redesign covers the author's preferred text version this one is ready purpley pinky that one's gorgeous as well and then this one is again ready purpley pinky and somewhere i do have i must be on this top shelf here because i can see priories up there that must be where the bone season is and then i have also pre-ordered the dark mirror and they're gonna look lovely together on my shelf so yeah these are the ones that have been here for the literary months and I was, I think I was originally saving enough up for like a small haul for a video and I thought, you know what, instead of buying myself a gift when I finish my book, I can just open my books and save money. So that's what that's about. So this is like a largely stack of waterstones. There's a couple in here that are not. So I think let's do a non-waterstones just to switch things up. This is a fairy loot one. I know this is the Divine Rivals sequel because I pre-ordered like the special fancy edition, even though I don't have the first one because I I dislike the UK covers a lot, but this UK cover is slightly better than the standard UK cover, so I thought I'd go for this one. And then Fairy Loot have made some like, they've been in some controversies around the time this shipped, so that would have been like June, maybe July, and I forgot to cancel it, so it's here now. And then it's bubble wrapped as well. Here she is. And I will say before I even take it out, I love when it's like bronze or copper rather than gold for the shiny parts. Because I think gold's overrated, silver's overrated. How do I... This is very nicely wrapped. This is like snug, nice bubble wrap. How do I get into this with my scissors? I think in terms of covers, I do think the Alcrate ones are supreme. But I am incredibly fond of the US ones. Then I'd go for like the Fairy Loot ones. I'd go for the standard UK covers. And then there's probably like more editions because it was like a very popular duology. I think it's just a duology, but I don't know what they are. And then voila, I like this a lot more than the other UK one. And I, ooh, I did quite enjoy Divine Rivals. I think I ended up giving it, it was four stars on Goodreads, but it's more like a 3.5 in my heart because I really did love it, but there was a lot more that I wanted from it. And I'm hoping this one can deliver on what I want. All the end paper art is also. Sh I'm gonna first, in my true like book box unboxing, let's enjoy the full cover art here. It's stunning, stunning. And then my first gasp was actually the end papers, so I'll show you that. They're shiny as well. Same back end papers just flipped and then. I don't have the words. This is actually stunning. I think this Amazon's probably the most recent one, if it is the one I think it is. So we're going to open it first and just confirm. Yes. So this one I bought the same day as... Is it called The Woods All Black? It's by like Lee Mandelo. It's like... It's like a very short horror one. And I have a lot of hardcovers on my Amazon wishlist just to keep an eye on them. And every now and then they go down to less than £10 for a hardcover and I, I cave. And this one I also ordered, it turned up the same day as the Lee Mandela one, but in separate packaging. So I read the Lee Mandela one first. I did unbox it because it's like 100 pages long and I thought, wow, let's, let's catch up. I say catch up on my read and go. I did not need to catch up on it. And then the other one I ordered that day was Wake the Bones. This one, I've tried to get a lot better recently at only buying copies of books that I've already read and loved or know I'll love, which... You can kind of tell what's going on already just because for a while i was basically just using amazon as a library rather than my actual library 
and you can tell from some of my unhaul videos that I have just far too many books that I bought and didn't like. So I thought to save money, we're going to exclusively buy books that I've already read and loved. Except some of them, I th am confident I'll love this. Do I remember what it's about off the top of my head? No, but it's got creepy hands, it's got like a foresty vibe. The font for the cover is vaguely reminiscent of the one I used for my book Paper Forests and therefore I love it. A lot of these books are set in like, you know, remote, creepy little towns and therefore they're perfect for me. This one's also very short, I could just read this in the afternoon sometime. So you know what I said at the start of the video of... I definitely know what I've ordered. I forgot I ordered this one, because when I went into Big Waterstones the other day, I got the paperback version. And I, I'm fine with this, because they weren't expensive copies. I mean, I got them both reduced, or f no, free for this one. Probably off the stamps that I used to buy this one, but... Okay, I have two. I got the paperback one because, like, pretty much all the T. Kingfisher books I fell in love with this year, I have. They are paperbacks. And then I think I just ordered this impulsively and just forgot I did it. But I'm looking forward to reading a copy of this because I love T. Kingfisher. I'm so silly. Maybe it's the fact that I accidentally or have intentionally bought multiple copies of the same book that of why people dislike these videos. Okay, we got three left. I'm gonna go thinnest to thickest, which makes no sense again. I know off the top of my head what at least two of these should be. And, oh, this is the one that I forgot about. This is the Waterstone Special Edition of Hell Followed Webbers by Andrew Joseph White, which I think has only like recently come out in paperback in the UK, I say. I'm not too sure. But I love this book. It's fun. I filmed my review for Compound Facture today. Which is how you can tell this is, you know, not a, a new video in a sense. But also when I was in Big Waterstones, I almost bought... Spirit Bears of Teeth was there in paperback. I almost bought it, but it's the kind of thing where I want to know if they're going to be doing... They, meaning Waterstones, are going to be doing a special edition or exclusive edition of all of Andrew Joseph White's books, or just this one. But I very much love the art style of these covers, and... Spirit Bears of Teeth and Compound Fracture, I believe, will have the same artist because the art style is very similar, it's the same. And I love them. And I love them so much that I don't think I can buy like an actual redesigned special edition of these books because the art style just doesn't hit right. So yeah, my paperback stack right now is very pastel, but also very, very different vibes. Oh, this is shiny and perfect already. This is... this feels so nice. This is Gentlest of Wild Things by Sarah Underwood, which I believe is a follow-up book to, was it Sarah Underwood who did Lies We Sing to the Sea? Which was Greek mythology, it might have been, was it the, it wasn't the Iliad inspired, was it the Odyssey inspired? It was some kind of Greek mythology inspired and people got very upset because of an interview they did about the book was taken out of context and I was like, oh my god, she hasn't read, she hasn't read the myths and she's writing a book about the myths and it was, it was a whole thing. And I don't own that book, so I don't think it caught my interest in any way in the end. But I have this one because I've forgotten what the myth is. It was, oh, it was Eros and Psyche. I think it's, it's Sapphic Eros. And I will show you up close again. Sapphic Eros. And I'm very into that because that's, you know, not one of the myths that it's not like Persephone and Hades or Achilles, where a majority of Greek retellings are about the same characters or influenced by the same stories. I have personally have not read an Eros and Psyche one, so this is fun. But also sapphic. Gorgeous, pink, beautiful, and then I was having a little gasp. But... Ooh! It's also like a laminate hardcover rather than the cloth bound one, which is nice because I read books with the dust jacket on because I can't stand how cloth bound things feel. So this is nice for me. This is beautiful and stunning, and I was gasping about this end paper art. Because again, beautiful and stunning and show stopping. Is it the same at the back? And it is the same at the back again, but it's so it's so intricate and detailed and beautiful that I'm fine with this. There's also an exclusive sign edition. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this. This is gentlest of wild things. 
Content warnings for this book are emotional and physical abuse, ableism, consumption of blood, cannibalism off page implied though, violence and mild gore. And here is the shiny info. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this book should be B. Fitzgerald's follow up to. I've completely blunt what the title is. <laughs> it's. It's down here, it's Golgula's Queen, which I think is her. I haven't got around to reading it yet, but I'm very excited about it because I follow her on TikTok, and that is her actually myth accurate. Hades and Persephone's retelling. And this one, was it Helen of Troy? Was it Cassandra? Either way, again, it's sapphic and Greek. So similar to the last book, that's why I picked this one up. This one is The Crown Ends All and Cassandra and Helen of Troy, sapphic reimagining, which I imagine will still have a lot of accuracy to the original plot points. She is thick. Love course is beautiful, stunning, perfect. I do kind of wish that I waited for a paperback to come out so it matches the paperback I already have, but didn't. Gre greedy. Greedy. Oh, it's, co it's colourful. So, the jacket, beautiful, stunning blue. Again, case laminate. I don't have the words. Okay, end paper, purple. Is that, I imagine that's Troy burning. It's the same on the back and then, I'm so hyped for this. This, this is stunning. I don't have the words other than to just be like, look at her. I love when Beneath the Dust Track it also can serve as its own cover rather than just it's plain with the book title on. I love when there's art. I love when there's something going on. And I say I'll try and pick this up on one go. This is the part where we, it fell. It fell already. This is the part that feels like bragging, but again, my own money or gifted. I'm not in like debt from buying books. So here's the hard covers. I am absolutely terrified of trying to fit this on my shelves. And then we'll add the paperbacks, which is just Alice Oseman and Andrew Joseph White. And that's just very precariously. I love them. And also while I'm here I'll do a quick breakdown of what I got in Big Waterstones. All of these I actually paid £4.35 for. I believe I used £60 of my stamp vouchers. So I got I got Thorn Hedge because I'm obsessed with T. Kingfisher, apparently enough to buy this book twice. I got my Throat and Open Grave, which I read on the train coming back from Waterstones Piccadilly, gave it five stars because the ending made me tear up and like got in my feelings. Like the only qualification for a book to get five stars for me is gets me in my feelings. Loved it, we'll probably be talking about it in some kind of recommendation video soon, but I picked it up because I knew I would love it. And then this is just, I was going to say it's the Schwab stag. This is our dark duet because I read, is it called This Savage Strong or Our Savage Strong? It's called This Savage Strong over here. I read that while I was away recently, fell in love with it, For I will read the rest because I don't think I dislike a single Schwab book. I am the number one gallant stan, which again is an unpopular opinion. So I thought, I'm going to love this one too. I need it. While it's there, I'll buy it. And then hopefully it won't take me like five years to read a sequel like it usually does. Like maybe I can read the series in the same year. Then I got, I don't remember the official series name is City of Ghosts. I don't think it is. But I have read all of these and then I saw they had the full set. This is Schwab's middle grade spooky paranormal horror influence series. And I thought, well, as, as they happen to have the entire series, I'll just grab them. So I did love these and I don't own them yet. And then finally, we have Kate Alice Marshall, who's another author I've become obsessed with recently. But I just can't find her books anywhere. I've read What Lies in the Woods. Might be my favourite one of hers, but I also finished Our Last Echoes this month and I'm very fond of that one. Probably recency bias, but she's floppy. She's also not like a standard paperback size or like the UK paperback size. She's a little bit larger. But yeah, I find that an absolute nightmare to find her books in person. This is the first time I've ever seen that. I think it was in, it might have been in the crime section. It was in the crime section. Which is like, yeah, this word I expect to find it, but I just, I also can't find them online. Can I please have all her books? 
So that is my obnoxious many months worth of book pre-orders that I've been hoarding in celebration of finishing writing the first draft of the book I affectionately refer to as Best Friend Whip, which I'll probably be talking about soon because it's around that time again. And I, again, I don't know how to end these videos. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you got to this point, I hope you enjoyed unboxing some books with me and I hope you don't dislike me for spending my money on books. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.